What's up, Art? What's up, man? How are you? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Here you got some, some, yeah, man. Dude, I hear you got some uh, issues with the uh, drum machine, man. Why don't you show me what you got yeah, going on? So, do you want to? Um, I, I think it's two. There's two problems. There's the AirX problem, okay, which is on the iPad, and then there's possibly the drum module problem. That's cool. We got the Pearl Mimic Pro. Yeah, it's a Pearl Mimic Pro powered by Slate. I love Slate. Yep. And it sounds really, really good, but I'm not getting the sounds out of it. Um, like I had a, a previous Pearl module, the Pearl Red Box. Yeah. And you even ran that box one time at the club. Yeah. And then um, and then all the videos that I've watched on on YouTube with the Pearl Mimic Pro sound oh, okay. insane. And I'm not quite getting that. I wasn't seeing it. And normally when you go to EQ, if it was one on, you would see it here represented as being on. Right. Um, all your all your low end being cut off. So you're being cut off at 213 hertz. Okay. Uh, click, turn that off, click, turn that off, and then take a listen. Where would you, where would you like? Where we're going to plug, we're gonna plug this back right in here. Well, next step, we got the kick drum, right? Uh, the kick, kick drum sounded pretty good. Uh, you may not, be, you may not be getting it because uh, you have to go through the in ears. Uh, oh, you know, are you getting, you getting it? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, great. I'm running off the name right oh, here. Okay, great, 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 Oh, that sounds sexy. Do you have um? Oh, you don't have speakers hooked up for us to hear it. No. I'm sorry. When we do the we do a capture, we'll capture the audio. Okay. Nice little kit, huh? That sounds really good. Now, yeah, that sounds really good now. And then uh, snare. That's where I'm having a problem with the snare. You get the There we go. Look at the band. I see. See here. Yeah. Uh, it's telling us what's going where. Yes. So we have overhead in the kick drum, room in the kick drum. Let's turn those oh, off. Oh, hey, hey, how'd you find that? Let me see that shit, brother. All right, so in your mixer, you go to the microphone itself. Okay. And then here's your bleed for said mic. Okay. And here's your snare drum. Okay. Here's your bleed for your snare, here's your toms, mm -hmm. and your bleed for your toms. Now, what, what, so what we're hearing is the overhead bleed in the tom channels of the snare going directly to this microphone. So let me turn all those off. And then it won't bleed so much. Now your symbols should only represent. Oh, and see, hide symbols. Well, I don't want to show symbols, right? Um, oh, okay, I see. Show Tom. Yeah, I when see it turns what red, it, uh, it, I it see hides. It. When it goes green, it shows. There yeah. we go. Okay, so it shows you your individual things that are routed into your Tom channel. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, so hi hat is in Tom channel. So, yeah. uh, and ride is in Tom channel as well. We might want to create. That's all that's happening. Right, it was, it was kick, snare, and then toms and cymbal low in the, in the third one. So that's why we don't see a channel. <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> I have solved all problems. <laughs> that was the issue. So you just don't have the cable ran to the actual input. You have that split at the top. Yeah. That's why no matter what I do, toms keep popping up on. Oh, that makes all the sense in the world. Even though I'm killing the bleed, oh, you're, you're, you're audibly sending analog signal to the tom channel so you bypass that so this is uh, useless so you just leave symbols muted for now because it doesn't do anything then i got cables coming yeah you just need one more cable so then we'll go back to our um toms toms tom one i need to show where was the thing at there's uh -huh. the thing 100%. Let's see what that sounds like. Tom 2, 100%. Uh, Tom. <laughs> Sure, it's a kid. Um, yeah, we just got to get that cable so that you can route these Proper. properly. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like some 
even for sure. Yeah. You know, but I know I saw what you had to go through. Yeah, I'm kind of making it work. We should uh, without the proper without the proper cables for each individual output, uh, just some groups of channels together like you want. Yeah. Right now it's just mixing everything together, so uh, it feeds it all down that one mono line. But it doesn't sound like your fucking snare is out of phase anymore. That's true. Which is great, and you can hear everything. And then also, uh, your tracks are now uh, fat as hell. Much better. High pass filter. 